go for head here. Okay. And what we're gonna do, <coughs> what we're gonna do today is we're gonna skin him and get the skull out of there. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to do that. Alright, so the first thing you'll need is a razor blade and a paper towel to put him on, head on. started. Alright, so the first thing we'll do is we'll just start skinning it. You can skin it whatever way you want. Here I'm just pulling it the skin back from the so as you can see here Slicing it from the head. Get to the ears here. So this is the eye. Try not to pop the eyes when you do this. Anyway, that's how I skin them. And then, show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, well there we go. Got it all skinned. Just gotta get the eyes out. It's real nice. Get his tongue out. And some of this stuff up. There's the skin. Start getting these eyes out. Alrighty. So I'll just be using my razor blade to just cut the tissue around the eye. Just like that. And then we'll just pop it out, and then there's a gland behind the eye that holds it in place. So then you just gotta pull it out far enough to where you can cut that. Show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so I got the eyes out. You can see it's good. There's the eyes. Now, I already pulled one out of this side, but there's this white thing. See that? Back behind the eye. And as you can see it's right there. Cut it, rip it, choose. Okay. There it is. It was in a pile. Alright, so now we're gonna pull the tongue out. And if you look, in order to cut it, you cut right down at the bottom here. What you do is you grab the tongue. Look for where it moves, and I can see it moving right back in here. So that is where the tongue is attached. There somewhere. So I'm just gonna cut along there and get the tongue out. Alright, so here I got the tongue out. So you can see it's nice and clean down in there. There's the tongue. Right there. So now next thing we're gonna do is boil it to this and I'll show you what I'm going to use for boiling it. Alright, so what I'm going to use is a tuna can that's full of water. I already put the head in it. A pair of ice grips to hold the can. A propane torch that's angling up. You don't want one that's angling out like that. So it just won't work when angling up. And then a metal thing for putting the can on because it's going to be pretty hot.
there we go, we have that thing lit. We will turn it up a little bit, not too high, just where you start seeing orange flames. Now we will hook our vice grips to the to this and hold it over there till it boils. Alright, we're while well, it's finished boiling, I'm just gonna use these tongs to take it out because that water is really hot. I'll start taking off all this meat. Alright, you can see steam in there. So what I like to use is a nail, just for taking off all this stuff. I go along the bone, see if I can get a better angle at it. Go along the bone and just start peeling it all off, just like that. So that's what I'll do and show you guys what it looks like. Well, that's how I do it. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so here I got the top mostly done. Now I'm just removing this bottom jaw so I can get everything in it. I've removed it from here, taken all of the meat off of back in here on both sides. Now it should just come straight out. And there we go. So now. I can clean up both of these and get them looking real nice. All right, well there they are. Both of, it's the bottom jaw, it's the top. Got the brain out, pretty much all of it. Got it pretty well cleaned up. Now I just gotta take it inside and wash it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's totally done. All right, well, there's the gopher skull. All finished, got the bottom jaw put in place. Got it all cleaned out back there. More brain. As you can see, I glued it right in there. Both spots. But yep, he looks pretty nice. Well, there's how to clean a gopher skull. Hope to see you on the next video.